Staff are reminded that you may be fired at any time. Thank you.
Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Congratulations, you found me. It's the Wolfman, Harrison Wolf, bringing you the truth from an undisclosed location here on Two Point Radio. Let's start thinking some radical thoughts while you listen to a piece of pre-digested popular music. All right? All right. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. Let's talk about the news. The news is like tea leaves or constellations. Or when you find a singular glove on a fence post in the park, you can't look at it straight on. You gotta read between the lines. So when I say people in Hogsport can expect some minor flooding over the next week, what am I really saying? Think about it. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means.
announcement. Milkshakes are not an appropriate breakfast. See Jumbo McNally is sticking with the hard sell on the humbly named Jumbo University. If I was looking for an education, it sure wouldn't be from that guy that sells the nuts. That information, unlike Jumbo University, was totally free. You're welcome, listeners. Students are reminded to find themselves. are reminded to fork it over. Sandwiches will be eaten by me. like a milkshake. Ah. But drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. Students are reminded to set reminders.
Please are reminded to apologize to the janitorial staff. I'm sure you've done something. CB, it didn't happen. Not to me. back, but I was never really gone. What do you think I do while you're all listening to music? You probably think I eat a biscuit or go for a little walk, and sure, sometimes I do do that, but in a different sense, nothing could be further from the truth. Here's some more music while I do something totally unexpected.
questions. You can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you. End of year results published. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. I've been playing some new video games recently, and mad has it been a while. The last time I played video games, you were a tiny hexagon, and you had to chase a squirrel to the top of the castle, or something like that. Anyway, I tried that new Meat Wizard game everyone's going on about, and boy, what a ride. Who knew that being a spell-casting, salami-wielding sorcerer would be so much fun? Let me say it out loud, it sounds obvious. The academic year is now over. Why is robotics such a popular career path for kids these days? I tell you, I'm seriously concerned that we're losing our perfectly understandable fear of the machines. I mean, don't you see what's happening? When you build a robot, you're working for the robots. We gotta make a stand. Join me in flushing my doorbell down the toilet. United we stand, together we flush. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you.
University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. We're just finishing up for today. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. Think about it next time you're sleeping and all the false realities drop away around you, leaving you playing chess with a sassy hat stand, finally feeling the real unfiltered truth. See you around. To whom it may concern. I'm so disappointed in you. Thank you. Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
ask questions. No, I've not seen your frog. in Bath. Now that's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. Ricky Holford waxing the waves lyrically and literally on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless.
students are asked not to ask questions. We've got breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's been reported that they're not under any immediate danger and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. Warning, some announcements are closer than they appear. Sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the disc jockeying trade. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pine for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Announcement. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever.
marks don't eat her. At Bungle, we know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom. are reminded to make us proud. And we've got an update for you on the story of a zoo worker that fell into the gibber enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is raising through the gibbon's social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic.
Kids are reminded to bounce back from heart-wrenching disappointment. fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. We are joined by Professor Hamish Curlybanks of the Pebbly Frog Sanctuary, who tells me gibbons are nothing like an amphibious cat. What's going on, Hamish? That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you say? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I like more than being corrected on air. Students are reminded to be constantly upbeat.
it's time for Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self-respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy, is it worth it. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? got breaking news and a surprise twist from the gibbon enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. Students are reminded that some grades are personal.
is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Shouldn't you be working? should be checked in and then removed immediately.
security breach, please change your passwords. Sorry. Today. The orb is the perfect shape. And the perfect solution. Please read anything they make you sign. Okay? Okay. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Words are long, and writing them down can waste precious study time. But what's the alternative? Over to you, Maggie. Yes, I've devised my own method of shorthand that saves me so much time. It really enables me to pay attention during lectures and make notes at the same time. I mean, sometimes it is really quite hard to tell what I've written, and that can waste some time and be a bit, um, distressing. So, if anyone does know how to take real shorthand, could you let me know? Please. 
Janitor required in bathroom. a test announcement, not a real announcement. Now, over to Wanda, who'll be talking about posters, apparently. Yes, today we're talking posters, specifically what your posters say about you. A Jasmine Odyssey poster tells me that you're a kind spirit with a nice smelling face. A poster of a car tells me that you just love mechanical things like carburetors, exhaust pipes, and cup holders. And a Casey Gubbins poster tells me that you're very, very hungry. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose.
noticed that some of you are doing better than others. Listening, you were asleep. I saw you. At Milkmaid, we use real dairy spoil ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of Milkmaid is eerily similar to the last. Wow! Mmm, Milkmaid. Now that's good milk. Not technically milk. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
thanks again to the Orb Foundation for sponsoring today's show and sending us those strange biscuits. I'm not sure if we'll be doing this again, but like the biscuits, it was fun while it lasted. Sort of. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. are reminded to fork it over. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. necessarily better. Two Point Radio.
Here's Harrison Wolf going through the county sock drawer on Two Point Radio. I just had a very big sleep, so it's going to be a lively one. It doesn't matter how desperate you are, no urinating on campus facilities. <laughs> Not a real announcement. questions. No, you can't have an extension. Live music is like fresh fruit and vegetables, man. It's better than the stuff in a can, and when the opportunity presents itself, you gotta cram as much of it in you as possible. That's just sensible, healthy living. You can't have too much of a good thing. That's why they call it a good thing. When I was young, I used to stand right next to the speakers and drink it in until I couldn't hear a thing. That's how I knew I was full. this, please drink some water. Thank you.
the end of the academic year, in case you haven't noticed. There's a fly in here. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Did you see those student protests at Mitten University the other day? It's all a little peaceful for my liking. Sure, I can respect the vibe, but sometimes you gotta ruffle some feathers. When I was at school, they took away mashed potato Tuesdays, so a few of us got into the school mascot's coop, and boy, did we ruffle that chicken. It was all friendly, of course, but they knew we meant business. Just some food for thought, my student comrades. Go get your mashed potatoes. Students are reminded to apologize to the janitorial staff. I'm sure you've done something. Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
new students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Hi, I'm Rookie Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm sure it happened. People ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Students should pretend that they're listening. are reminded that school spirit is infectious. Go us! How's it going? You're listening to Two Point Radio, the most popular station in the greater Two Point County area. Nice. We're serving more great radio with a side of insidious advertising right after this.
education is non refundable where your class is, is it really worth going? As long-time listeners will know, I have a wide range of hobbies and interests, but jogging isn't one of them. I mean, think about it. Going around and around a track or a park in an endless, exhausting loop to feel satisfaction? If you ask me, it's just another trick that big business uses to train our brains into total subordination. I'm sitting down, man. There's no moving me. Are reminded to figure it out themselves.
Bongol gets a lot of praise in the press. I just don't think it's healthy for something, anything, to get talked about in such a positive light. It makes my eyebrows uncomfortable. Sure, they've been responsible for a lot of so-called technological advances. And some of you might love your automatic toilet paper dispensers, but I was doing just fine on the toilet. Thank you very much. are responsible for, well, for a lot, actually. I am out of here. I hope you all have a righteous rest of your day and that the constant fear of alien abduction, natural disaster, and revolutionary upheaval doesn't stop you from having a fine and restful evening. Hopefully there's a next time. Students are reminded to try and keep up.
are reminded to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will? asked questions. No, I wasn't listening. Good morning, I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio. Later in the show, we'll be discussing another hot student topic. Old meat. How grey is too grey? That and much, much more coming right up.
Students are asked not to ask questions. on their entire education. It's just not fair. Thanks, Minister, for that much needed, albeit clueless perspective. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. Staff are reminded that you may be fired at any time. Thank you. I'm so disappointed in you. Thank you. Lectures can, if done incorrectly, be quite boring. But here's our preview of a lecture that has students everywhere wide awake. Oh. 
avant-garde academic and student darling Omar Figgins began his latest series of... The early reviews are in for the talk entitled What We Talk About When We Talk About What We Talk About. One student had this to say. It was great. I barely understood any of it. So, you can imagine. Wow. Reserve your tickets for his visit to your campus today. You won't want to miss it. Janitor required in lecture theatre. End of year results published. Now. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. Students are reminded to make us proud, or else. Students should check in before trying to learn. You want to make stacks of easy cash, but reading about stocks is really boring. Invest in BungleCoin. It's like other fictional cryptocurrency, but with 40% less saturated fat.
maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? matter of grey meat. Yes, we contacted Health Inspector Henry Jobsworth, who sent us a very comprehensive 7,000 word report on the subject. Asked for a snappier response, more suitable for radio, he had this to say. If it's just turned grey, it might be okay. If it's been grey for a while, it's sure to be hostile. Well, if it rhymes, it's probably true. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
Please are reminded to be constantly upbeat. should not be pink. are closer than they appear. Thank you. You've taken your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom screaming into a thankless night. It's gonna be a huge show today, so I'm gonna eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. Shouldn't you be working?
specifically asked questions, yes. Classes are technically optional. And so is failing. Did you see that Bungle launched another rocket into space the other day? I'm sure they'll tell you that it's important work. But what I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? I mean, how many times do we have to do the same old bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. assignments if you think you have time.
are reminded that I'm not your mum. forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you were going to say? Thoughts are like frogs, and sometimes they just hop away. But they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Hell, oh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. Failing students are reminded that you're letting everyone down. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. is reminded to stay hydrated. Like a milkshake. Ah. But drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. Play 
Futurism is not a belief system.